know, there's there's two defensive backs, and uh, you know, Nick Saban was a really really good defensive coordinator, and before that, a defensive back coach here with Cleveland Browns. Um, he always seems to have guys that succeed at the next level. Tell me a little bit about the two DBs um, that uh, are on the board that are likely to be first round picks: McKinney and uh, Trayvon Diggs. McKinney is is someone who, in my opinion, was the best safety in in the nation last year. I know there's a lot of debate around that with Grant Delpit out of LSU, uh, J.R. Reed out of Georgia, and the the Minnesota safety whose name is escaping me at the moment. Um, but I, I thought Xavier was was the best in the nation because he's so cerebral. He's obviously very talented. He covers space really well. He's got good ball skills. He he knows how to handle the ball once he has it in his hand in his hands, which is a good thing because he gets in his hands somewhat regularly. and But really what separates him is how cerebral he is. He's someone who played deep safety in most packages this year, but when Alabama went to dime, which you had to do pretty regularly given the, the era of the spread offense we're in, he went to basically the dime, the sixth the defensive back, what Nick Saban calls money, uh, the, the kind of overhang guy on one end of the uh, – of the secondary so that they could put a, a freshman back in at deep safety. So they could kind of control the situation to that talented deep safety uh, freshman got to play in. And, and that puts a lot on Xavier McKinney's plate because you got to understand your opposing offense from two different positions. And, and Xavier is, is intelligent enough to do that. And he's obviously got the, the talent to cover a lot of field and, and be a, a, a difference maker at, at safety. Trayvon Diggs is a guy who, he had he had a solid 2019 season. Um, if you're if you listen to the local chatter in, in Tuscaloosa, you'll you'll hear people say that he got lit up against LSU. Well, if if anybody watched 30 seconds of an LSU game this year, you saw they lit up everybody. Uh, getting lit up by LSU doesn't say anything about you. It says everything about LSU. Other than that game, Trayvon Diggs was was pretty solid, uh, especially as a cover guy. He's not very physical. He's someone that would really have to. I don't know if it's add weight or just get a new mentality, but he needs to tackle better if he's going to be a number one corner guy in, in the NFL for for a long period of time. But the, the coverage skills are absolutely there. The ball skills are absolutely there. I think everybody knows his, his brother is a starting wide receiver in the NFL. So the ball skills are there, the body control in the air, all of that skill is there. Um, he's kind of a wide receiver playing corner and – in certain aspects. He just needs to be more physical as a tackler and as a run stopper and, and all those things. So if he's able to get a little meaner and find some tenacity in his game, he can stick around in the NFL for, for a while too. But it's also possible that just his coverage skills could keep him in the league for quite a while. 